Alright guys, welcome to your 54th tutorial, and I know if you were listening to my last tutorial that I promised you guys I would be teaching about mutable strings, but I forgot I have to teach you guys about substrings. So let's go ahead and make another string, and we'll go over mutable strings in the next tutorial. So, and a string, uh, you know, we don't really need to create another one, but we don't really only want to have one, do we? Uh, we just want another one to play around with. So let's go ahead. We have cats don't like bananas. Some more advice. Don't feed grapes to dogs. They might choke. So now let's go ahead and put us in a string tester. And make sure pointer to it. And we'll just make this one blank. So the first thing that I want to go over is that you can a substring pretty much is a piece of a regular string so let's go ahead and let's go start out with an example let's make tester a substring of dog so use your D or you know whatever string you want and type in the method substring to index 10 and what this does is it starts at the beginning and it makes a substring of the first 10 characters so this would be, remember we're on dogs, so this would be like don't feed somewhere right there. So now let's go ahead and ns log print it out. Uh, let's just go first first 10 chars are percent a and then tester. So now let's go ahead build, run this, save it and see what we get don't feed so pretty much we made a substring of the main string just took a piece out of it the first 10 characters and put it in tester so I mean easy enough I understand what substrings are but what if I want to get the end of a string well let's go ahead and take that tester and we'll set it equal to let's use the S I should name these key C and D for cats and dogs but you know I didn't substring from index and remember this one's to this one's from subtle yet necessary and let's go ahead and put something like five so what this does it works a little bit differently it starts at the fifth character in the string which is I don't know this blank right here between cats and don't and what it does can't type and teach at the same time what it does is pretty much go from five till the end so let's put that at in the right place and then I could show you guys. So let's put like from five till end is and then just go ahead and put percent A tester. Looks good to me. Save all. And what did I do wrong? C is undeclared. That's because I tried using cats instead of S. That's gonna get confusing. I'll probably just use the dogs one from now on confusing and embarrassing so check this out the first 10 characters are don't feed from 5 to end remember the original string was cats don't like bananas it cut out the cats in the space and just gave you don't like bananas so that is pretty much how you get substrings so I mean let's go ahead and delete this this is getting kinda of clustered we already know how to make substrings big whoop so what I want to teach you now is I told you guys how to get it from the beginning I told you how to get it from the end, but what if you only want to cut out a piece in the middle? Should you use substring from or substring to? Answer, neither. What you need to do is you need to make a special range of characters. And what range of character is, is a location and length. So the range of don't would be like 5, because it starts at character 5 and 4. I think so. I count that way too quick. So let's go ahead and put tester and set this equal to, again, let's use the dogs one instead. D, let's see, shub string with range. So now let's go ahead and say, what range do we want to make? But you can't just put coordinates. You got to put NS make range. There we go. And this is your coordinate system. And again, your coordinate system is first where do you want to begin the fifth character and how many characters do you want to go let's see 5 10 11 so we're gonna to wanna to start at 5 
which is this space, and count 11 characters, which should include feed grapes. So let's go ahead, log, test this out. Just put percent. We won't put any witty uh, comments to go along with it. And just print out tester like that, and we should get that little substring in the middle. So check this out, feed grapes. So what it did, what it did, what it did is it started at five with 11 characters and extracted that range. So that's how you get a range within a string. Pretty cool, huh? Um, I know that range can be kind of confusing, so let me give you guys one more example. And what I want to do in this example is you can pretty much I told you guys that range is a location and a length so what you can do is you can not only extract a substring but you can give it a substring and you can pretty much tell it find the range find where the substring is so you can give it the word grapes and you can be like alright what's the range of that pretty cool huh so let's go ahead and do that ns range let's make a range object and just go ahead and name it range no pointer necessary and set this equal to like d in the in the excuse me method for this is range of string oh look at that so instead of giving it a range we're giving it a string and telling it to give us the range so this is pretty much the opposite of what we just did so give it a string and we'll put like grapes since I mean it's just chilling there right in the middle and so now range is equal to whatever the range of this is and remember range is composed of location and length so all we need to do right now is print out ns log and let's just put like location is percent i and let's see what's that location and length is percent i simple enough uh, <clears throat> got some phlegm in my throat so now how do we access the properties of location and length ready for the easiest thing ever take that range object that you just created and just like any other thing just call the property on it, location range length so whenever you create a range object of a substring it automatically ap applies certain properties to it location and length so now if we didn't mess up anything we should get our range which is location is 10 right there that means it starts at 10 so check this out grapes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that's where it starts right there and it may even begin with 0 I'm not sure yeah it begins with 0 that's why and the length is 6 one, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty cool, huh? It's actually zero, one, two, three, four, five. But anyways, that's irrelevant. It's still six either way. So that is pretty much what a range is. A range is pretty much a location and a length, and a substring is pretty much a string or a piece of your string. I mean, pretty easy tutorial, huh? So now that I finally got all that out of my system, I feel comfortable now now that you know about substrings to teach you guys about mutable strings so you know take a deep breath it's gonna be okay and by the way and I know I tell you this every tutorial is getting annoying but if you want any of the source code I'll type it retype it all for you guys and copy it right in my forum the link below so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh yeah that's it I'll see you next tutorial